Hey guys, welcome back for another review. Today I'm talking about the Morgan Taylor collection. I get a lot of people requesting Morgan Taylor and I'm so excited that they sent me their new holiday collection so that I could share it with you. And it has some really amazing colors in it. So this collection is champagne and moonbeams and it's all about the holiday glitz and glam. There's some shimmers in there, a lot of really beautiful creams, and some fun sparkly glitter polishes for the holidays. There's a good variety of colors in here. There's some neutrals, there's some really fun bright sparkly ones for the holidays so you've got a good balance of creams and glitters and it's perfect for the holiday season. Let me also mention too if you haven't tried Morgan Taylor Piper come here come on up come here okay <laughs> oh, I'm not playing okay just sit not gonna play Sorry, I don't know what she's doing under the bed. What was I saying? Oh, if you haven't tried Morgan Taylor polishes, you definitely need to try them. Their formula is fantastic. I feel like they last a long time and their brush is the best brush out of all the polishes, I would say, except for the Essie Gel Couture brush. And Essie's improved on their brushes too, but I like this one maybe slightly better. It's just curve so perfectly and it's wide and I know some of you might not like the wide brushes you might have smaller nails but I think the majority of people really like the wide brushes so if you haven't tried Morgan Taylor definitely try them because I don't think you'll be disappointed and this is the perfect collection to start the first one I have is tell her she's stellar and it is such a beautiful neutral it's a cream nude and it has this beautiful champagne sparkles in there and they do show through they're sparkly in the Sun indoors they're just look like little flecks of gold which is really cool because it gives it a cool texture I don't have any polishes like this it did remind me of breakfast at Tiffany's kind of the same concept except that one I think has like silver shimmer throughout it and this one has more of like a gold copper shimmer really beautiful I love wearing neutrals in the winter and I think a lot of you will like this one the formula is fantastic it's opaque in two coats the next one I have is dancing and romancing and this one is beautiful too it's this nice pinky nude it's it's, it's a good balance of pink and tan so it's a really good color and I like that it has a little bit of contrast on my skin it doesn't wash me out it doesn't have any well it does actually have slight silver shimmer running through it this one has copper this one has silver which gives it a nice glow and I love this one too again the formula is fantastic and it's going to be opaque in two coats next up is this beautiful mauve and it's called from dusk till dawn I think I could be safe to say this is my favorite mauve color to date and I wanted to compare it to Essie's and Gory Cardi and of course that one's a little bit darker but they're they're the same color tone so this one's that same color tone but just lightened up a little bit it's so pretty this is one of my favorites for sure the formula is so smooth and amazing I want to say you can get it opaque in one coat I did two it just builds up so nicely if you just float your brush and let the brush do the work for you I definitely think you need to pick this one up I didn't do comparisons for this collection because I think I'm gonna mostly stick to doing that for OPI and Essie just because their collection is so broad and I do have a lot of their polishes already I don't have a ton of Morgan Taylor I do like them I've gotten I think three full sets of their collection so I didn't have much to compare it to. I did pull out some SE and OPIs and there were things that were close but nothing was like identical or anything so I love this one. I think it has a little bit of a blue tone to it which I really like a lot better with my skin tone. This next one is Let There Be Moonlight and it's a gray. It's a cool tone gray. It's really pretty. I love this one too. A lot of the grays that I have are more warm toned and this one's more cool. It reminds me a lot of Petal Pushers but I think that one has a little more blue in it and this is just more gray. I saw someone wearing gray nails the other day and it made me crave putting this on and so I definitely think I'll wear this when I'm done with my fall favorites. Okay let's get into some metallic. This one's called Gilded in Gold and it's a really nice gold color. It is kind of a champagne color. It's not too much of a yellow gold. It's more of like a brown um, champagne gold and those are the kind of golds that I really like and this is beautiful. This is going to work really great if you just want like a pop of gold, an accent color, or if you really just want to do a fast quick mani. These are opaque in like one coat. There's another one with a similar formula that I'm going to show you next. Just one quick coat out the door. They dry quickly and they're just so fun for holidays and I really think you guys are going to enjoy this one. This one is called Copper Dreams and like I said it has the same formula as that other one. It's just more of a rose gold and you're going to be able to like I said apply that really quickly and just go out the door and it's just a 
fast, quick, easy party night for the holidays, polish to wear. This next one is a kiss in the dark and it's this nice, really, really rich, it's very inky, inky blue. And it has shifts of purple to almost green iridescent shimmer in there. It's really pretty and unique. On the nail, it's mostly like a rich, rich navy blue. Um, it almost can look black and it's really pretty. It's going to be opaque in one to two coats. It's just a nice dark color that are fun to wear during the winter season. This next one is called Shooting Star. It's a really unique shade. It's like a brown shade but also has hints of gray and green and it just really has a lot of mysterious quality to it I want to say because it's a little shifty. Um, when you paint it on, it is more brown, but it also has a copper fill and kind of a green fill. So it's really interesting and a little bit edgy. I like this one quite a bit. It probably is one of my favorites too, just because it's a little bit different. It reminded me a little bit of OPI Warm Me Up. I really was into that one. That one's like a brown with some shimmer in it. And I wore that five or six years ago. I wore that like all fall. And this one has a little bit more of a green copper tint to it. It's a really fun one. This next one is a starry sight and it's got this purple base and that has this royal blue shimmer going through it. Same kind of shimmer as this. It's like an iridescent shimmer. Um, different color obviously, but it's really pretty when you put it on your nail It does look more of like a blue color just because that shimmer is really strong So I thought this would be more purple. So it's more like a blue um, With a hint of purple. It's really pretty and in the Sun It's just so shimmery and sparkly and glitzy and glammy So if that's your thing, you're really gonna like this. It's gonna pop and stand out So that's kind of fun to wear for the holidays, too. It's gonna be opaque in two coats and it's got a beautiful formula, of course, and with that amazing brush, it's just awesome. The next three are the holiday ones that I'm really super excited about. This next one is called See You In My Dreams, and it's a really, really nice blood red. I mean, it looks like blood when you're applying it on there, and it's a little bit inky, just like that navy, and it's got just this sparse glitter in there. It's so pretty. They're iridescent glitters. I don't know if you can see them. I might do close-ups of the bottles so you guys can see them, but they're just teeny tiny and they are just little flecks and you can see them in your nail if you look closely. Other people might not be able to see it, it'll just like a, look like a plain red but you'll be able to know that those are in there and you'll be able to spot them in there too and it's just really cool. I love this one and especially for the holidays it's going to be super fun. It's going to be opaque in two. There were some areas that I thought maybe needed three but it's okay building up because it's going to give you extra layers of those little flecks so it's going to look pretty cool. I think you need to grab this one. This next one is Sprinkle of Twinkle and this one's so cool you guys. This is the glitziest, <laughs> glitteriest silver that I that I have. It's just packed with glitters and it builds up so nicely in two coats. It has these hexagon glitters and it also has these big chunky irregular pieces in here too and the next one has that too but it's just so cool because it really makes it like glitzy. It's perfect for the holidays. It'll be so great on any accent nail. I think you can do this as a full-blown mani if you want. I probably wouldn't. It's pretty blingy but if you just want to do some accents, this is going to be your polish that you want. It's so good. This next one is Walking on Stardust. This is probably one of my favorites, you guys. This is the polish that I'm going to wear Christmas Day because it's just so brilliant and beautiful. And it has those hexagons and it also has just those irregular big chunky pieces. I don't know if you can see them in there but it's just really fun to wear. Now, one thing I wanna say about these kind of polishes that are really chunky, they are gonna take a little bit longer to dry, and sometimes if you try to go too fast with a second coat before it's had a chance to dry, it'll actually move some of the glitters. So you wanna make sure you give it a little bit extra time to dry, but then it's gonna be perfection, and then once you put those top, that top coat on these, it's just gonna bring out that glitter even more, and it's so beautiful. It's gonna build up in two coats, and I definitely think you need to get this one too. Okay, so that's it for the collection. I really, really love this collection quite a bit, you guys. Um, I'm more and more surprised by Morgan Taylor. I just think they do an awesome job. So let's talk about my favorites here. Let me pick them up. Okay, quite a few, more than I thought. So of course, I gravitate towards creams. So I have the Pinky Nude, which is Dancing and Romancing, Let There Be Moonlight, and then the Mauve, which is from Dust Till Dawn, and then the two reds in the collection that are just so fun. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts about this collection. If you guys love Morgan Taylor, I would like to know because I think there are a lot of Morgan Taylor followers and it really just doesn't get 
talked about enough and I just want to know if you're one of those. And let me know which ones were your favorites and which ones you think you might pick up for the holidays. We will talk to you guys soon. I hope you guys have a good day.